Promo alert, promo alert, promo alert. Today is NBA King David. Make sure y'all go follow him on Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit that like button. Comment and let them know I sent you. The link will be down in the comment section. I need y'all to click that link, go up under his video, and let them know it's about that gangsta shit, fi or nah. Y'all already know how he coming. Never broke again. Bitch, I'm about that cancer shit. Bitch, I'm about that cancer shit. Bitch, I'm about banging clips. Bitch, I'm about that cancer shit. Bitch, I'm about that cancer shit. Bitch, I'm about that cancer shit. Throw up your fist. We can hit. Bitch, I'm about that cancer shit. Bitch, I'm certified step. I'm the leader of this age. Rapper Cash Doll, Atlanta House was broken into while she was back home in Detroit. She seen the suspects in her home from a surveillance app on her phone. She called her kid's father, Tracy T. He rushed to the house. When he arrived, he got into a shootout with the suspects. Check it out. Uh, GBI is investigating an officer-involved shooting following a late-night home invasion robbery in Brookhaven. One of the suspects was shot after leading police on a chase that ended in Chambly. Fox 5's Deidre Dukes is live at the scene of Thursday night's home invasion with the latest on the search for one of those suspects, Deidre. Yeah, police telling us that four suspects broke into this house here in Brookhaven. They then were involved in a shootout with the victim's friend. They led police on a chase into Shambly, where three people were apprehended. A fourth suspect still on the run tonight. It sounded like gunshots, so we looked outside and we saw um, like a car drive off. Andrew Fisher captured this image of the suspect's vehicle fleeing the scene following a late night home invasion robbery at his neighbor's house on the 2700 block of Caldwell Road. Police say the homeowner was looking at her home surveillance video when she saw four armed men inside the house. The woman called a male friend who drove to the residence and confronted the gunman before officers arrived. The man told Fox 5 off camera that he was rapper Tracy T. I was on the phone and I heard like a crack, crack, crack. And I immediately was like, what's going on? This neighbor who asked us not to show her face heard the shootout between the rapper and the fleeing suspects. Heard a bunch more shots, so I called the police at 11. Um, shortly after, saw a policeman lining the streets. Uh, saw somebody put a marker on my driveway. A responding officer observed the car leaving the neighborhood and pursued the vehicle into Shambly. It racked along Peachtree Boulevard and the suspects got out of the vehicle and ran off. Officials say an officer shot 19-year-old Albert Eugene Burns, who was reportedly armed. Burns was transported to an area hospital. Police tracked down 22-year-old Davion Harper and 18-year-old Tyson Kamari Kirksey in the area a short time later. They were transported to the DeKalb County Jail. Kind of crazy that it happened here. No one was hurt in that house, which is great, and they, the cops handled it well. Now the GBI is investigating the officer involved shooting at the same time. They're asking that anyone with information on the whereabouts of that suspect who is still on the run to give them a call. Just when she thought things couldn't get any worse, her neighbor, Ronnie Mares, a community leader, allegedly went to the news and accused her home of being a drug house because of the traffic and the presence of successful black people that come to her home often. Check it out. Hey, Instagram. So today, I'm about to put y'all in my business. I normally don't put the internet in my business because I just feel like, you know, you share certain things and you keep certain things to yourself, right? But I've been violated bad since I've been in Detroit. I guess people was looking at my story and they see that I'm not home. And they found that this was the best opportunity to run inside of my house and get all my Birkin bags in Atlanta. However, that's cool. They got caught, you know, they got into a shootout with my child's father and the police got all of them, got all of them. And we ain't took no L, you know? So it's a celebration, but it's also sad that it's black people 
that's just running inside of people home trying to take their things and what if my kids was there what if my sister was there what if my mom was there what if what if tracy was there asleep and y'all caught him slipping they came in with guns i'm putting y'all in my business today because i'm so upset that ronnie mayors the the, the community uh leader and over in brookhaven and the block that i stay in because you guys i stay in a nice neighborhood you know where it's i'm the only black person on my block and the youngest person on my block you know um and this man had the audacity to go to the news running mayors he went to the news and told them that my house is a drug house because it's traffic and a lot of black people there because it's always traffic he just assumed that since it's nice cars and other black nice successful people pulling up that's entertainers that's friends producers that have nice things as well and it's a lot of traffic because i have two kids under two that i have drugs in my home the sacrifices i make how hard i work everything that i do for you to just associate me with drugs just because i'm young black and successful that's crazy that you went to the internet and t no you went to the news my nigga and told the news that i'm me and my child father is running a drug house <laughs> like this is the day i know the shade room posts stuff i don't want them to post and they post stuff i want them to post but today is the day that i need you to post this because ronnie ronnie mayors he need to know why i'm so successful why i live in the biggest house on the block why i'm black and i'm the youngest person on the block and why he keeps seeing all these successful cars and all these foreign whips and my kids Nigga. we spoke to brookhaven police overnight who detailed what happened after those shots were fired take a listen he tried to pull the vehicle over the vehicle fled there was a pursuit uh that vehicle wrecked um four individuals inside the vehicle tried to flee uh, multiple guns on scene in possession of those offenders. It resulted in an officer involved shooting. That suspect is in the hospital and two of those other offenders were apprehended. Promo alert, promo alert, promo alert. Today is Steven DeLorean Hampton. Make sure y'all go follow him on all platforms. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit that like button, comment, and let them know I sent you. Hey, the link will be down in the comment section. First off, I want to say I appreciate everybody that subscribed and got him to 6K. Now, we're on the road to 7K. And he got a bang on his hands, man. And we all know we in some dark times right now. So we need music like this. He got a song called I Can't Live. And it's a banger. Check it out. Promo alert, promo alert, promo alert. Today is Lena Love Lather. Make sure y'all go follow her on Instagram. Click that link in her bio and check out her website. You know, when it comes to the soap, she the biggest in the game. I'm talking about she got all kind of soap that heal and repair the skin. She got some new soap out called I Miss You. It's made of shea butter and it's also scented with pink sugar. Man, let me tell you something. When I say she the biggest, she the biggest. Make sure you tap in. The link will be down in the comment section. But before we go, make sure y'all subscribe to her YouTube channel. Yeah, miss me with the BS. Oh, you ain't know that was her? Y'all already know, man. She on YouTube and she going up. She got the New York Minute. <laughs> you already know. When it come to New York, miss me with that BS got the T. So make sure. Y'all tap in. The link will also be down below. Hey, do me a favor. Look down right there to the bottom left and hit that like button for me. Hit that like button right there. I appreciate it. I continue watching. Promo alert. Promo alert. If you need promo, DM me on Instagram at music101ceo. $30 for one promo video on my YouTube. 
$50 for three promo videos on my YouTube, $70 for six promo videos on my YouTube, and $130 for 12 promo videos on my YouTube channel. Make sure y'all tap in and get that promo if you want to win.